First, we'll start with a styrofoam ball. I placed mine in a skewer to make working with it a little easier. Next, I'm going to slice off the top edge. Then, I'm going to apply Mod Podge to the ball, and then apply a piece of orange tissue paper. Followed by more Mod Podge to smooth the tissue paper out. Wrinkles in the paper are okay and will give it a rustic look. We'll continue these steps with more Mod Podge, tissue paper, and Mod Podge until the ball is entirely covered. After it is dry, I'm going to start painting two white dot shapes for the eyes with white chalk paint. And a curved wide line for a smile. Then with red chalk paint, I'm going to start painting pumpkin crevices around the ball. and lightly dry brush some cheeks next to the smile. And paint a simple nose. With black chalk paint, I'm going to paint round ring shapes in the eyes, placing a dot in the center of each. And a line in the smile. followed by some dash lines. Next, I'm going to start outlining the facial features, starting with the mouth. This will make the features stand out. Then I'm going to apply some dots above the eyes, along with some dash lines. and some curved lines by the smile, and one underneath as well. And then I'm going to paint the flat top black to give the ornament a bucket appearance. Here is another one I'm working on. I follow the same steps for this one with adding the white round eyes and mouth, red crevices and cheeks, but have made this face slightly different. I'm outlining the facial features again, but in the eyes, I'm going to simply have a dot in each. I'm adding accent lines with the black slightly different too, but in a similar style. To give all the ornaments one more level of detail and color, I'm just accenting the features with a soft yellow, just to highlight what is there and make the features stand out even more. To dull the coloring and give these ornaments a more antique finish, with a mixture of mostly Mod Podge with a little brown craft paint, I'm going to go over each ornament and set them aside to dry. Finally, I'm going to prune these wires I painted black and use a chalk paint bottle to give each wire a nice curve. Then using a wire cutters, I'm going to bend the ends inward. And once placed where I want them around the ornament, I'm just going to push the ends into the foam and lightly squeeze the curve to secure them in place. After I complete the others, I'll show you the finished look. Welcome to my channel. I'm Christopher Heidemann and I love to decorate. 
Over the years, I've had a blast sharing a variety of craft and decorating videos. From cozy fall, and spooky Halloween, to warm and inviting Christmas. and other fun videos, including seasonal home tours, garden tours, simple desserts and treats, floral arrangements, and other projects to make your holidays and home even more spectacular.